because I'm pushing the button right now. All right, hey, hey, everybody, welcome. The 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 the, the uh, auditorium doors, the lecture hall doors have opened. Get on out of that quad, everybody. Let's climb on in to the classroom. There's plenty of room. It's that stadium seating side type of setup. You know, where there's just it just hundreds and hundreds of students can sit in this room at once. And then there's just at the bottom this tiny little teacher's desk. Mm-hmm. An enormous blackboard, you know, like those six pan, like a gigantic, projection kind of thing, right? But like the six panel Huge. gigantic blackboards where you can like raise them and lower them and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and it clearly the teacher just like writ, wrote the entire semester on there before the 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 uh, the, the whole thing started. And my just... hand is so cramped, I can't even. <laughs> because it's true, you are constantly, mm-hmm. you are constantly putting your fingers to a keyboard. Yes. Or wrapping your fingers around like a, a, a child that's not listening. You know, something. <laughs> well, we don't talk about that in a thing that's being recorded. <laughs> uh, but, you know, okay, all right, all right. Got my attendance book. Okay. Uh, Matt. Here, hi, everybody. It's me, Matt. Uh, Cat. Cat. Is Cat here? Present. Oh, pre- present. And then, of course, Professor Angela. Can't have class without her. She's you here? I'm here. She's here. She physically and mentally. Physically and mentally. I love it. I love it. First time it's ever. A, it's a Christmas miracle. It is it's an first Alston time. Christmas miracle. On Days for Dummies, folks, Professor Angela is 100% <laughs> here with us. <laughs> and of course, T.A. Jacarius. T.A. Jacarius. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing out there in the chat land, Jacarius? Oh, good. good. We have our fact finder there. Yes. Oh, yes. Between the four of us, we can get nothing wrong about these <laughs> wives. That's a incorrect. pretty big. That's a. We're starting off on a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we had a week. We had a great week. We had a wonderful week of days of our lives. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I mean, I haven't had a week of days of our lives where I thought it wasn't wonderful. I'm gonna be honest. You know, like. Uh, I go online and I of course, read everything on Twitter and Facebook and all of that. So, I mean, not everything, obviously, but I, I hear a lot of, you know, the complaining and stuff, but I, I'm enjoying it. You know, is it the, you know, I mean, we watch soaps for escapism and fun. Yeah. And they are. They are. I think yeah. that Days is hitting the nail on the head. I really do. I enjoy it. I look forward to it every morning it's like the first thing i want to do it's never an oh god i have to watch days and recap it today i so don't want to do that and there are other soaps that that sometimes is my feeling but it's i just don't get that one with days it's always there's always something i'm going to enjoy right. and usually the majority of it like like young and the restless that that's that's what you hate see i wasn't going to say that i'm just putting words in your mouth too I, I, just, I just made hate it, up. it. You really? it's sometimes it's Sometimes other shows that will remain remain nameless can be difficult to get through. <laughs> she, I she, actually she can't... watched like a half an episode of Young and the Restless this week. You used to watch Young and the Restless on a somewhat regular basis. I did. I used to. You years ago, yes. I used to watch it on a regular basis. And I even had it on my DVR for a while, but I found I just wasn't catching it enough, so I took it off of there. My favorite, and this is years ago, and I forgot the character's name, but he had, he, he, someone carved in his forehead, killer. I don't even have any reference. That was I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll <laughs> let chat, we'll let chat and, and comments decide uh, what they want to do. Yeah. Speaking of chat, by the way, you know, before we get too deep into this, you know what I did between Thursday and now? Turned what? Turned all that super chat stuff on. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we now we get super chat going because of because of because of listeners and watchers and viewers like you, not because of how good we are, but because of how how consistent the chat has been over the last couple of years on this on this channel. That YouTube oh, has nice. decided that we get super chat. We we don't get ads. There's not going to be you know ads to skip before you get started. We're not going to get interrupted in the middle of this thing with an advertisement, but. We do have super chat options now. So now there's like this little like dollar bill thing that you can collect, uh, click, and then you can just like flip a coin to your Witcher and uh, highlight your chat in different colors depending on what the what the level is. You can have the chat stay on there permanently or for for an extended period of time, and it doesn't just 
trail up and go away. There's also special uh, sticker reactions that you can do as well while we're, while we're doing live. And then while we're not going live, if you're watching this on a replay, you still have the little clicky give a gift button and you can mm -hmm. do the same thing. Nice. So do that if you want. And then come join us at 11 a.m. for the 10th Floor Podcast because we're going to tell you what we're going to do with that money. At 11. So <laughs> give us the money now and we'll tell you what we're going to spend it on later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, business out of the way. We can talk about days of our lives, okay? Um, Jakarius already uh, doesn't like Dick Van Dyke, so we can we can just skip that entirely. There's no point in talking about it because Jakarius isn't interested in such an old man. Well, I'm interested. I thought he was awesome. I thought he was really good, too. And did you know that the officer that wheeled him in in the wheelchair is his real-life wife? Well, no wonder really? he was such a creepy old man with her. Yep, that is his real-life wife. They've been married since 2012. <laughs> they dated for five years before that. They met at an award show. She was a makeup artist. Oh. She's like 40, 50 years younger than he is. Her name is Arlene Silver, and that was her character's name as well. And yes, that's Dick Van Dyke's real wife. Wow, I didn't know that at all. I'm going to have to look back and watch it again now because I don't remember what she looked like. Mm -hmm. But now she that I like know. a lady. She Very looked like cool. a lady in a Very police officer's cool. uniform. Um, I, 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 I like it. I'm sorry, Jacarius, but we like it. So we're going to talk about it a lot. Um, we're going to mm -hmm. talk about it right away because there's no point not talking about Dick Van Dyke immediately. There's really none. All right. Now, this is a man that I've been watching since I was a, a super child. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm, I'm sure that Me too. Like, he's 90. <laughs> okay. He's like 99 or something. I don't know how old he is. 92. 97. 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hey, hey, you know, I, I think once you pass 90, does it matter? Hey, double C. <laughs> uh, uh, he's super ancient, and I um and just, and so everybody remembers him from their childhood. Uh, just on the Dick Van Dyke show with Mary Tyler Moore. Um, I do want to point out yeah. also that Peacock did something really fun, too. This week, I don't know, guys, if you guys noticed or not, but this week, at the when the credits were running on Days of Our Lives on Peacock, when it was suggesting the next show, all week it was the Dick Van Dyke show. Oh, that's neat. I noticed it right away. It used to be like Texas, you know, used to have very other things, but it was the Dick Van Dyke show. So clever. Which I thought that was a clever tie-in for them. So clever. And it started out with episode one, season one, Dick Van Dyke. Mm -hmm. It was oh, yes. it was I noticed it right away. And actually they started doing that before he appeared on the screen. Mm -hmm. He didn't appear on the screen till like Wednesday or Friday, Thursday, right? Well, yeah, it was it, no, it was Friday. He was his first appearance. They accidentally you guys may have noticed that last Monday morning for a couple hours in the morning, they actually had tomorrow's episode up. Yes. They yes. put up tomorrow's episode a week early and then fixed it. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't slated to appear until Friday. Yeah, so so yeah. suddenly misdated a Monday or something and yes. Peacock put up the yes. wrong episode, but they realized it within a, a reasonable amount of time. Couple hours couple and pulled hours. it down and they then put the right one up a couple was, hours later. And you text me on that day. You said, Hey, where's the days? Days is enough. I want to yep. watch my days. Yeah, because yes. I like to watch it early in the day. Mm -hmm. It's one of the first things I typically do. And yep. I'm an early riser. So, you know, by 6 37, I'm watching why, it. That's why their ratings are so strong, you guys. It's because this show is available as soon as people wake up in the morning. And I it's put, so easy. It's so six easy. A. That it's I a watch it on my phone in the shower. I watch it on my phone in the shower as I'm getting ready at 6 a.m. It's just and it, it's just so yes. easy to follow. It's so easy to digest. It doesn't bash you over the head with should Esme be in jail because she's a terrible racist. You know, it's 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 Leo dressing as Gwen. It's Dick Van Dyke that just that classic, charming but a little too horny, just extreme <laughs> senior citizen that is just like God, you're cute. Um, <laughs> you know, I also, I liked when he was saying that he could, when he was, you know, talking about his memory issues and he was like, I could be a chimney sweep or a street artist. Yes. Who knows? Knows? They had some really uh, cute, a lot of little uh, cute. A lot of it. And then he, and then he made a reference earlier to, well, maybe I could have taken a flying car. Yes. Kitty bang bang. Right. 
And then he yeah. and then he made the reference of chimney sweep. I I thought Ron is so clever. Sticking it to ABC and Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Every oh. chance he gets. And of course, this is Dick Van Dyke. Okay, even though they are portraying him as this frail old person that just can't move from wheelchair to bed. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and he he's playing it up too. You can see him leaning off to the side and all, and 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 he's just figured out in his in his old age how to look like just the wind would knock him over, which we know isn't the case. All right, that man's gonna be bench pressing until his funeral. Okay. Well, I mean, he <laughs> met him and Drake met at the gym. They go. To, that's how this whole thing started. Is that yeah. him and Drake go to the same gym? <laughs> Double C remembers Dick Van Dyke from a show with Victoria Rowell. Diagnosis murder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, where he played the doctor. <laughs> that 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 mm -hmm. was the show that he did when I was already like mm -hmm. older. I don't want to say yeah. older because I'm old now, but like when I was like a teenager. Yeah, he was like an Emmy or something yeah, like he was, that. He was right? a medical yeah. examiner, always solve, solving the case. Yeah. You know, helping mm -hmm. the detectives get to the bottom yeah. of it. It was one of those USA shows. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on for I a long know. time, too. I remember seeing mm -hmm. commercials for it and going, oh, look at that. Dick Van Dyke's still up to stuff. It's like seeing, like, a Carol O'Connor on that one cop show mm -hmm. we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, oh, yeah, look at hey, him. Your grandma loved that show. She still watches yeah. it. Yeah. What is the heat grandma of the Grandma still watches that downstairs. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kaiwan. Kaiwan, Kaiwan, Kaiwan. I will tell you, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. We will talk to Sammy when she comes on the dang show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kaiwan cannot wait for us to get into just whatever it is that Sammy's done in Salem. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy's, it's going to be like a four episode arc. But once it happens, Kaiwan, let me tell oh, you, okay. we won't be Kaiwan able to will shut be, up. We, you will be the first <laughs> to know. <laughs> Uh, but no, yes. no for, for now we're talking about John Doe. We're talking about Dick, Dick Van Dyke. And now the reason why we were trying to lead into this before, you know, we do what we do here um, on Days for Dummies and just bounce all over the walls and just never get to the point, um, <laughs> is he? He's uh, Dick Van Dyke and Drake Ho 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 Hogan. I just did uh, Hulk Hogan. Um, <laughs> Hogan. <laughs> uh, so Drake Hodgson and Dick Van Dyke—they're gym buddies. They went to—they've they, gone to the same gym together forever. And apparently, finally, after all of these years of friendship, he was like, you need to come on my show, you old bastard. And <laughs> actually, Dick Van Dyke said, okay. Actually, Dick Van Dyke asked Drake. Oh. You know, I've never ways. done a show before. Yes. <laughs> well, that's nice. And Dick Van Dyke, or, you know, Drake went into the show and went to Albert's office and went, you're never going to believe what happened. <laughs> So do you think we can go for Dick Van Dyke? And Albert had to go, I don't know. I had to say, I don't know. Can I sexually harass him? <laughs> what I'll do is I'll just make him a sexually harassing character. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm bad, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Don't apologize. It's the truth. It's the truth. And you have to laugh about it or otherwise you're just going to be tense and cry. <laughs> That's for next week for the John Aniston funeral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So. Um. Anyway. Um. So met him in the gym. Dick was like, "Hey, we. we I want to. I. You. You've been on this. Sh this soap for nine hundred years. It'll be easy <laughs> for you to get me on. Yep. I'm not up to much. Let, let me do a little soap arc. So he's gonna be on for what a week, two weeks. Um. I'm not sure. I mean, I know that it's not a long arc. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, he's gonna be on long enough to. Find out that he's John's father, and they're gonna be yes. Okay, and they're gonna and they're talking already about you know bringing him back. So, so he's not gonna die at the end. I guess that's good. I don't think so. No, I don't think they're killing well, him. That would be so horrible. Have John find his father and then kill him off within a well, week. That's or a GH two. move, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, okay, okay. Well, well, let's get let's get into that then. All right. So the prevailing theory, since you know he, so Dick Van Dyke, he's come out of the thing. He's like, I can't remember shit. Okay, um, <laughs> this this is late night tonight language. I'm sorry, I can't remember anything. Um, uh, uh, I wish you could tell me my name. Or like just he's just oh, just 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 such an upbeat old man, and I love it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but he says I'm looking for my kid. That's like the only thing that he knows is he's looking for his son. 
Mm-hmm. And everybody thinks that it's going to be John Black. Because we don't know who John Black's daddy is. Well. We never found out. We, come on, who knows John to, Black's daddy is, right? Him. He, it has to be him because he said he said to uh, Marlena that he would recognize him when he saw him. And that's what's going to happen. Him mm-hmm. and Patsy are going to walk in to talk to him. And he's yep. going to have a big epiphany. <laughs> Uh, why are you so convinced about that? Just simply because he's Dick Van Dyke and Drake brought him in and we don't know who John's dad is? I, it I makes find sense. it so shocking that after all these years, we've never explored who's John's well, parents are. So a few months ago, you know, days shoot six months in advance. A few months ago, there was a behind the scenes video that Stephen Nichols did with him and John. Okay. And they were getting ready to film their scenes. They were like, oh, do you have your this? Do you have your that? Do you have your this? And John waved his little dog tags he was wearing and went, I know who I am now. Oh, okay. So he gave it away. Oh, okay. And oh. this shot after Dick Van Dyke did his arc. See, see that, see, 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 see what, what, um, what's happening here is Drake's getting old. <laughs> and he's not really knowing where they're at in the filming schedule and what is aired. And, or he's gotten to the point where he just doesn't give a crap anymore. Yeah. <laughs> So like I know who I am now. Hey, woo. Yeah. Um, so I so what does that what does that mean? Okay, so I know that he came in and everyone thought he was Roman, but mm-hmm. he wasn't Roman. And they no. refer to those years as the the Rojo, Rojon yeah, the Rojon, era. Rojon, yeah, the Rojon era. Um, yeah. So he he had a kid thinking that he was Roman at a certain point, right? Mm-hmm. So so it was like Drew. Drew so to compare it to the other show that we know, it's like Drew thinking he's Jason. Being Scout's daddy, so we got Roman, yeah. think er, John thinking he's Roman, being yeah. Brady's daddy. I don't know who who whose kid he had. No, he he Brady. It, Brady's mother is Isabella. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are okay. we going to see her this coming week? She's dead. Okay. okay. Well, that doesn't mean that she's not gonna. Yeah, but week. she's pretty really most sincerely dead. Still I'd be surprised if they brought Isabella back. I mean, with the current strikes that are happening right now, there's going to have to be something that they do to get an actor on the soundstage. And if they just let the strikes go in perpetuity, they'll just have to start digitizing everybody to start with. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all yeah. right. So Isabella's not coming back. I'm good. I don't think so. Because the actress has, has moved on. Yeah, she had a pretty dramatic on screen death. Oh. Okay. So, all right. Well, sometimes you, you sometimes not that you that to... means anything on days because you so can have funny. a dramatic on screen death and still come back. But I would just be very surprised if you they brought Isabella you know, back. When it's a great death, though, you can't you can't top a great death. You got to leave it dead. Oh, days of our lives undo undoes. I mean, Bo so had a great death. So great death, and then they undo the great death, and then they kill him again, but in a lamer way. And then you're like, what yeah. did they bring him back for? <laughs> <laughs> Bo had a great on-screen death. I think that everybody would agree with that in the snow with Hope and dying of his cancer. That was a really great one, dying in Hope's arms. But really, he's just in a coma somewhere. And then, and then they brought him back, and now he's in a coma. <laughs> and then, and then, and Sean is like, Sean's like, I did it. I did it somehow. I did it. Oh, how great was Brandon Beamer this week with well, that? He won your, with Sean's... Soap opera Nets, um, he was soap our opera, performer of the week. News. Yes. Net. Uh, performer of the week. Performer of the week. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And um, I guess uh, there was some confusion about his status on the show as well. But don't don't fear, he's still there. He is still there. <laughs> he did um, Stone Cold and the Jackals podcast, the podcast with Steve Burton mm-hmm. and Bradford Anderson. Yep. And him and Steve were talking about things they're filming. So he's still filming. All right, good. Well, good. And they only shoot that a week in advance, sometimes the same week that they put it up. So Right, right, right. You know, I, I got to give I gotta give Stone Cold and the Jackal some credit, too, when it comes to Michael E. Knight on General Hospital, because he was on their little program, and then no less than a month later, he was going to cross Port Charles. So I don't know if that was planned or if they did that or whatever, but, uh, you know, give Stone Cold and the Jackal a listen. They're fun. Yes. And then tell them that we sent you. And so they'll yeah. be like, oh, we'll be on your show. And then they'll be on our show. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah, maybe getting Bradford have Anderson is actually very Bradford difficult Bradford for us. <laughs> she just doesn't care. Bradford Anderson yeah. doesn't care about my mom and, yeah. me and my mom. <laughs> it's because we don't give them enough wine. Yeah. 
He's just lives down the road. Doggone it. <laughs> uh, hey, Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. I mean, you only get about, uh, you only get partial credit for the day since you're so late. But <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you know, back in the 70s, if you needed to, if you needed like just one credit to graduate or something, you'd make yourself a, a make, a make a pie or something for a teacher to give you a credit. So, you know, make me a pie. I might give you a full credit. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly why that structure changed because goodness, <laughs> the things that a teacher could ask. For. It hasn't changed um, at this school. Okay. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Well, I, I, I went to a school in which credits just came with the classes. There was no, let's earn an extra one here. You went to this class and you passed it and you got three credits. It didn't even seem to matter. No, we're like we're like the community community college. We're like the community college on community. Okay. <laughs> this is us. You guys, you want extra credit? I absolutely am open for bribes. Wow. Yeah. That's the way it was in my high school. No, 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 but you know, no. it, but but back then you could earn like partial credit. But back then you guys but didn't now, have walls. But now though, you, Ma. Can... you went to a school where that was separated by bookshelves. I did, and we had a smoking area and everything, man. That was, you had that a was a party. We had a smoking area. You know, like just, just, just life back then was very different than life now. It sure was. We had ashtrays in the bathroom that the janitor would empty. It's, it's That's crazy. Wild. We at least got trouble for smoking in the bathroom. You know, for, nope. so, for somebody that didn't grow up in that area, you know how they're like, oh, well, tobacco companies target children. In my <laughs> lifetime, they've never really been able to do that in any effective way. But it's still the narrative. They target kids. They target kids. These fruity flavors, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, where is this information coming from? <laughs> and it's coming from the 70s in which there were ashtrays in the goddamn bathroom at high school. Uh, that was the 80s <laughs> and the late 90s or the early 90s. Even I'm 49. I graduated in 92. The oh. janitor, my senior year, the janitor was rather us have ashtrays in the bathroom than put the shit all over the floor. Oh, wow. <laughs> they just, they, they, they They're going to do it anyway. Oh, my God. Everybody See, says us Californians are the liberal buttheads. <laughs> oh, I guess not as bad as Massachusetts. Massachusetts yeah, I was going to say, that was, that was uh, Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, and we had a designated outside going, smoking area party? too. Anyway, we yeah. totally got off base. Totally got <laughs> yeah. off base. We are no longer in Salem. Somehow we got into Salem, Massachusetts, yes. and not Salem, Illinois. Yes. Uh, we started talking about Salem's menthol cigarettes instead, huh? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, if Paulina had gotten her way years ago, there wouldn't have been a store to sell them in. I know, right? Well, there would have been a store. It would have been a Price Mart, her okay. store. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what she was going to level it up. <laughs> yep. Oh, um, so and I, you know, I I hope uh, you guys this this made me. I just she texted me. Fell out laughing. She texted me fell out after seeing this. this. Oh my gosh! I didn't know that Abe was a self righteous prick, but now I do. <laughs> I loved and I love Steve's. Sorry, John and I pulled an all nighter. <laughs> And I'm just picturing their, their two old asses on a stakeout falling asleep in the car. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> just one of those messy burgers from, from Carl's Jr. Just <laughs> John and I pulled an all-nighter. Like, no, you did not. <laughs> yeah. What's my all-nighter for you guys is you actually don't yeah. wake up. That's an all-nighter. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's an all-nighter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh, that's good. Oh my goodness. That and everybody so watching Body and Soul. Oh. <laughs> Man, Body and Soul got some good ratings in Salem, huh? I know. I mean, Abe never misses an episode. He loves that show. I know. He absolutely loves that I show. I need a very Body and Soul Christmas special. <laughs> so I saw a picture of the cast from a long time ago. Um, and it was mm -hmm. a long time ago. Could have been 15 years ago. So I, I really don't know. Um, time is just it's, you know, <laughs> it's fluid for you. <laughs> well, for me, you know, I, I'm, I'm in that perfect pocket in my life where something that's a long time, like 20 years ago, I was seven? 17. 17? <laughs> See, I don't even know. See, time is, time is liquid. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um. So anyway, 15 years ago sounds like a long time ago to me, but really isn't anymore. Um, it was. It was. You know, when I was 15, 15 years ago was a very long time ago for me. Yes. Now, not so much. Anyway, just weird, <laughs> that sliding scale of time and how it just quits quicker. Anyway, anyway, my God, we are, I'm so unfocused today. <laughs> 
<laughs> Drink coffee, I saw man. A picture, and it could have been from 15 years ago. Winter was still 2008. Um, <clears throat> or something. Anyway, I don't know how to do math. Um, how long has Abe been on the show? He's been on the show forever, right? Abe? Yeah. Yes. Because here, here's why. Here, here, here's why. Here's why I asked this. Here's why I mentioned it. And here's why it seems important to me. Mm -hmm. Is because I can't pick another character of color out there in Soapland that's been on the show for 15 years. Hmm. <laughs> Not Curtis. No. None of that family over in General Hospital. Taggart no. took a long break. G is nowhere where to be found. This is all General Hospital. I don't know anything yeah. about the makeup of Young and the Restless, but I really only see white people in the cast. Um, Bold and the Beautiful is not long enough to be diverse. Uh, and I'm not trying to come at them with heavy criticism or anything, but it is something that I noticed. Like, if Abe's been on the show for a long time, kudos and congratulations for being a great character that people want to see for so long. Yeah. I mean, Young and the Restless used to have more long-running African-American characters, but they really, I don't think any of the ones that are on now have been. Yeah, Abe's, James Reynolds has been on days since 81. Wow. Even wow. longer. Yeah. 40 wow. years. Over 40 years. Like, yeah. That's, like, listen, I don't have evidence to show. I don't have a report to follow or some sort of article that somebody posted on some sort of soap thing pointing out facts and figures and dates or anything mm -hmm. but since the 80s you know that's like that's like if they didn't yeah. kill jesse on all my children and kept him on from the 80s until it ended you know right like significant and great and historic and amazing and worth mentioning to me oh actually brighton james has been on young and the restless since 2004 well there you go that's so, not the 80s yeah thing. It is not the 80s, no. <laughs> yeah, that's somebody that grew up on Young and Restless, right? Because he joined as a teenager. Because yeah. he was a little Richie Actually, on uh, Family Matters. Yeah. yeah. He was. <laughs> was. Oh, goodness. Actually, mm -hmm. the, the tiny, tiny sliver of time that I saw Young and the Restless this week, they actually did a uh, flashback with Brighton on there. Mm -hmm. Much younger. Yes. I saw that. We got, we got a, yep. we got a list of support coming from, from the chat. So other people that need to be pointing out to mention, Jeannie says Devon, is that, is that Young and the Restless? Yeah. Is that Devon is Young and the Restless. Oh. Yes. That's who Brighton James plays. Uh, yeah. Lily has been on Young and the Restless since 2005 or six. Yep. So, yeah. Yep, Christoph well, St. John was on there for a long yeah, time Saint too. Christoph St. John was on there for a long time. Now that's somebody yep. that I, I like when he, when he passed away, I'm like, oh Yeah. Yeah. I know you from soaps. I know that face my whole life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good for them. Maybe it's just really GH that's failing in that department then. Yeah. Yeah. GH is. Yeah. Somebody send me some tequila. Yeah. <laughs> send me a super chat so I can buy some tequila. <laughs> anyway. Um, what else are we talking about? Um, so congratulations for being on the show for, for so You said James Earl. What's his name? His real name? Who? James Reynolds. James Reynolds. Okay. You were so, so close. I mean, I just took off Jones from another Yeah, you were name. thinking about uh, uh, Sandlot. <laughs> yeah. Sandlot. Oh, my God. You like my brother better than you like me. Um... Depends on the day. <laughs> I tell Sandlot's my kids I hate movie. them all equally. We watch that movie so much. The Sandlot and the Hook. Hook and the Sandlot. My God. <laughs> Yep. To find my child. <laughs> Three ninjas. Three ninjas before school every single morning. Can you imagine, Angela? Those kids oh, with me and up my in best morning, friend popping in... up the VHS of Three Ninjas every single day. Me and my best friend, middle school, first two years of high school, every day we didn't have practice after school, we watched Labyrinth. Every single day. Is it because you love David nerdy. Bowie? <laughs> Just the entire thing. It, it, wow. it was it was David Bowie's cod piece. I know. <laughs> I was yeah. just thinking about the scene. I love I love Where? how they how they put they put it together and like the hands were always below the camera, so it clearly wasn't yeah. David Bowie who was playing with the sphere the entire time. Yes, and it very much looked like what I'm doing now. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, man! What is it with us? You know what what it is with me is I missed two episodes of Days of Our Lives this week, and so I'm just completely unfocused. Um, we haven't talked about Leo in a dress. 
Leo, Leo, Leo and Drag was great. Take it away. <laughs> Leo and Drag was great. And I loved, I had a feeling. I don't know why, but as soon as they showed the lawyer on the phone and you could hear he was talking to his spouse, couldn't get wait to get home. I love you too. I was just like, how funny would it be if he was gay and his he's married to a man? And then that turned out that he was. <laughs> and he was on their side and it was great. Yeah. <laughs> Actually gave him the first installment of the month. Gave him the first installment. Yep. Twenty million dollars. Yep. That's a lot of money. How much money is in the, the entire pot if that was the first installment? I don't know, but it's a lot. Have they? Okay, so Salem is supposed to be in what state? Or they do they say? Illinois. Illinois. Right? Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. So in Illinois, well, it's actually gay marriage it's, is, is legal in all states, right? So. It is. However... Per the codicil of the will, codicil. he has to be married to a woman, it specifies. Okay. Because they looked All into right. it, I remember, they hooked up, and then Leo's like, well, you, you just marry me, we could just keep doing this, and you'll get the money. And he's like, I can't. He says I must <laughs> yeah. be married to a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't help it, you guys. If I, I need to see Leo, if they need to either separate them soon. Mm -hmm. or I need to see Leo and Dimitri act a little more normal in a scene because <laughs> it's not normal to be like, jumping on each other every single second or kissing each other every single second. Yes, it so, is. When it's new, it is. It's you, They're caught up in the excitement, Ma. It's the big secret. Right. And right they now. have the whole it's illicit thing. Yeah. Once it no longer becomes illicit and people know about it and it's not a yeah, deal. Yeah, then it's like, boring. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I just, I, I don't know. I guess I just want to see them do something besides just that. Well. I know, but that's all they can do because it's not like they can date. Oh, maybe okay, they should date well. in secret. Yes. You know, <laughs> they'll be like, oh, we're going to close down the McDonald's. Yeah. I'm going to take you to the sunroom of Wendy's. Um <laughs> <laughs> We, I can't spend he, all get at spring. he just got 20 million dollars i think you get at least spring for all of no, garden oh is that that first installment is 20 million is yeah. it yep yep oh boy yeah that was something put people also on twitter was like all of this for 20 million dollars and then angela saw that or i think like, he was running the account the at first the time. installment it's the first installment the first installment alone how so many, that means... i wonder how many installments there are Eight. I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know. They have and how is it, now I didn't understand too. So Dimitri is not really a Demira. He is. It's just not his last name. His mother is Stefano's daughter. His mother was Stefano Demira's daughter, oh, but he has okay. his father's last name. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was wondering how come. He yeah, no, he's a blood Demira through his mother. And this money is coming from his mama. No, his daddy. It's his dad's side, it's yes. Dad's side, and why is it that the von the von Leuchner codicil? Right, the von Leuchner. Yes. Now, do you, did they say why he had to be married? Just because you have to. be It's boy. just in the will. Yeah, this is just a codicil to the will. Okay, and so mm. does he have siblings? Does Dimitri have siblings? Not yet. Not that we know of. He was Megan's only. They will. They will show up asking for half of that twenty million dollars in no time. I know. In no and time. so, as cousins, is she? Is like his Kristen. mom passed away? No, she's on the run. She left town in the Princess Gina submarine. Princess Tina? Gina. Princess Gina submarine. All right, so we had the Haunted Star over in Port Charles and the mm -hmm. Princess Gina submarine. Yes. <laughs> submarine. See, last time I watched a submarine on TV was during Lost, and that thing, thing was a place of death. Yeah, nope, she escaped town when her bad deeds were found that. out. There's just something about a soap character escaping well, she didn't a submarine take off that makes from me Illinois happy. in a submarine. Yes, she did. Oh, she, she went did. down the river somehow. <laughs> Jeannie says, we didn't even know that Megan had a son. Yeah, that was a new revelation. But I mean, Megan had also been dead since the 80s. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, we didn't yeah. know a lot of things. Well, you know, that's a lot of life to live. Um, <laughs> Not actually yeah, dying it's a different the show, Matt. A lot of life to live is a different show. <laughs> <laughs> well, they only had one life to live, and it ended. <laughs> it ended. 
uh, unless you unless you unless you're going to to, <clears throat> to General Hospital, um, because goodness gracious, they just opened up the ABC doors over there. <laughs> We got we got Delia Ryan mentions. We got we got we got Blair coming from One Life to Live. We got Walt Willie from All My Children on. Before we know it, Alex is going to be stomping through trying to kill Anna again. It's just a wild west of ABC soap lore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Double C. Really I did wanted, too. Double C. Double C really wanted Dimitri to be Bo's son. I did too, and I'm not giving up hope. Anything can happen. Mm-hmm. It's a soap opera. I really thought they were setting it up with the whole thing with Sean feeling guilty, and then he finds out he has another brother. And I guess they decided to go really the silly great, route but... instead. This actor, who's the actor that plays Dimitri von Weishner? Peter Porte. Peter Porte, who's not new to soaps. He was on other shows, right? I don't know if he ever did another show. On... Either that or, or an article about him was misclassified on soapopernews.net for the wrong show. <laughs> It's possible. I mean, if it's in an article on soapopernews.net, then it is true. I think it was a tag, but I don't know. Whatever. I'm. It was what? I think it was a tag. A tag of, of it. Like, mm-hmm. instead of it being days, it was Young and the Wrestler. I don't know what it was. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. I could also I be misremembering. I could, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not foolproof. I'm not, I'm not a robot, Okay. All right, everybody watching right now, I need you to listen and understand. I'm fallible. He was on Young and the Restless for 51 episodes. He I played Ricky Williams being. in 2011. I knew that he was on Young and the Restless in 2011 for 51 <laughs> episodes. I knew this the whole oh, time. Oh, he was uh, Ricky Williams. So he was. Um, oh, shoot. I don't he played remember. Paul Williams' son, according to Chicago. Paul Williams' son, yes. See, Doug thank Davidson. you very much. Oh, well, thanks for coming back after your phone died, Jacarius. I appreciate it. We need this TA because he came he came straight with the answers here. Uh, Peter Porte was on Young and the Restless. He played Paul Williams' son. I actually was watching it at the time. I just didn't so, recognize him. I think he's very handsome, even though he's totally not oh, my type at all. But he's I, incredibly I, handsome. I don't know. Very handsome. Um, I, I just... I, I, I zoomed with him, and he's just handsome normally, too. Oh. I was just like, oh, my God. God, he's beautiful to look at. Well, that's, you know, that was one of the first things I noticed when I did um, actually be able to see a group of soap opera stars for the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. To be that pretty, everybody is so attractive. Right? People that don't even, like, look super great. You know, they look kind of, like, you know, average on television. When you Mm -hmm. see those folks in person, too, they are super pretty. Everybody is. (laughs) <laughs> um, it's it's actually to a point where if somebody comes through on on the show, you can tell if if the series has intention for the character or not based on how pretty the actor is. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I make a lot of General Hospital references, but deal with it. I got the same audience for all the shows. Um, <laughs> um, uh, but when um, Neil's brother came through to deal with Alexis for that one episode mm-hmm. uh, at Neil's funeral, he's like, "You killed my brother," and then scampered off, and then came back a year later to get shoved off a cliff by Harmony. I'm like, this guy is so handsome that he's coming back. <laughs> and lo and behold, there we go. But then you there get other people like like the cop. It's like, all right, we got him. We got him. We're throwing in a slammer. And then they leave. And you're like, that's, that guy's not coming back. He was just here for the day. <laughs> uh, you, you just tell. You just tell. Yep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, it's, weird. it's weird, says Adolometrics. I think that's what that says. Hang on, let me lean in a little closer to my screen because I still haven't gone to the optometrist. Dolomedics. Uh, it's weird that Dimitri's cousins would get the money and neither of those characters are married. But are they Demira cousins and not Von Leuschner cousins? No, they're Von Leuschner cousins, but the codice of the will says that if he's not married by the time he's 40, the money gets divided among the other heirs. Hmm. The, the rules He's married. He gets it all. Hmm? How come the rules don't apply to them? I don't know. Because here's why: Dimitri is a gay homosexual. All right, and Papa <laughs> von Leuschner wasn't like, "I ain't gonna have no gay homosexual son." All right, if you want my money, you're gonna get married to a woman. You queer. That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. And then, and then Dimitri is like, okay. And now he now he has to lie. Now he has to <laughs> pretend to be into Gwen, even though he's just totally giving it to Leo at every moment. And that's why Ma, and that's why they can't keep their hands off of each other. 
because Dimitri has been bottled up and suppressed by Papa Von Leuchner his whole life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. And you can say all those things because you're a gay homosexual? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I say it because I know it didn't happen that way, at least not in those <laughs> words. And if it did happen that way in those words, Days isn't going to tell us. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's too simple. No, it's too not. fun. It's too simple. It's I too fun. thought, I actually thought Leo in drag was going to look a little prettier. They, they, they didn't. They didn't try that hard. <laughs> it was on purpose, I think, that they didn't try. I'm that hard. sure because because listen, all right. So they they mentioned specifically Jackie Cox as somebody that mm -hmm. has been on the show before. Jackie Cox, I remember from RuPaul's Drag Race. Yep. Nine out of ten when it comes to drag talent, and I feel like I need to go and watch this episode or two or whatever that Jackie was on because I really enjoyed this queen. Um, now that is somebody that transforms. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> from male to female like distinct masculine and went out of drag distinct mm -hmm. feminine in drag the transformation is mir miraculous if jackie cox can do it they could have done it to leo yes it was on purpose that they didn't yeah you know i think he even had a little he he didn't even like have a new shave not really <laughs> <laughs> remember when i dressed in drag for wrestling uh <laughs> You were very convincing, Matt. <laughs> no, I wasn't meant to be, and that, that, was, I know. that was the whole point. Yeah, uh, and so you know, <laughs> similar things there. Um, man, Jackie Cox, what a good drag queen! Big Star Trek fan too. Hosted uh, hosted a Star Trek special. Did you know that? You didn't know that because you guys don't follow hmm. Star Trek like I do. <laughs> I haven't watched it since you lived here. You gotta watch the musical, ma. Huh? You know, Leo was married to Jackie Cox. Leo was married to Jackie Cox. Mm -hmm. What? That's really. See, yeah. I do need to go back and watch it. Hopefully, it's on those episodes covered by. A people. lot of it was off screen, but yes, but Jackie did appear. Yes, that's funny. Oh, you know, that is really funny. Speaking, speaking of watching other stuff like from before, I watched um, the Christmas one. The the Beyond Salem Christmas special. I did. Mm -hmm. Is that very Salem Christmas? I think I it was did. called. Well, what is that? Like five episodes? How long is that thing? Mm -hmm. Ten. Well. Uh, no, I just watched the whole thing. Uh, very Salem Christmas, I think, is just one episode. Yeah. Oh, it's just a The second. Beyond Salems were the ones that were okay. multi-episodes. Yeah. Aww. I haven't went back and watched all the Beyond Salems yet. But so I was, did it a, was it super Christmassy and fun and adorable? Yeah, and I got to see the town square all dolled up for Christmas. Wow. I'm going to wait for real Christmas. Nice. I liked it. I'm going to wait for real Christmas. I want to be. I wanna have my socks blown off. <laughs> like, wow, look at all the twinkling lights. Were they colored lights or were they white lights? I got to know that. They're white lights. Yeah. Nobody likes cuddle lights anymore. Ice and <laughs> white lights and things that are programmed to dance to music. <laughs> grumble, grumble, tradition, grumble. <laughs> uh, uh, Dimitri was on Beyond Salem and it was linked with Billy. So Dimitri. She, is a, Billy is a girl. That's right. So Dimitri um, is a crossover she, character from Beyond Salem then. Yes. Like Harris. Um, that's where we first met Dimitri. Okay. Oh, so he hasn't been on forever. No. No, he was a Beyond Salem introduction. Um, and he, but he was scamming Billy. He was posing as an ISA agent to try to find the Alemanian peacock that could destroy entire cities. The Alemanian? Not peacock. aluminum. Not from Albany. The it's Alamanian. so funny though how they did the peacock tie-in, which was really that cute. Cool. That is cool. They they did um, the peacock tie-in this week too. They're like, you know what? Oh, peacock? they do it all they the time. Language. Talk about you yeah, watch watching something on peacock. peacock. Yep. Mm -hmm. As yep. it turns out, I'm your father, John, and I'm also a singer and dancer. Da -da 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 -da. No, on a little clip, I saw him doing a little little shuffle sidestep, mm -hmm. little two step. I think it was with um, Julie. Julie. Yep. Shoot. Mm-hmm. Julie is. Yeah, they'll be dancing tomorrow. We saw it last Monday because it was last so Monday. Tomorrow, tomorrow. They're not skipping Monday. Nope, they are not skipping Monday. Okay, all right. Oh, See, that's, it's another positive to being on streaming. Mm-hmm. Because you don't have to, you don't have to play on the holiday schedule. Nope. Because I think GH is a repeat on Monday. 
every other show is a repeat on Monday, except right, for Days of Our Lives. Everybody's mm-hmm. going to to Days of Our Lives. We're going to get ourselves a, a one-day subscription to Peacock so we can watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, they only did two seasons of Beyond Salem. I imagine they'll do more. It's... I don't think they will. No? It was originally... Because it was stuff that they were just doing on Peacock. Now the whole show's on Peacock. Oh, okay. So well, you know what they should do? They should do a Halloween one. Well, I mean, they might do holiday specials again, well, but I don't yeah. know if they'll do any more Beyond Salem. So instead Originally, of... the Bow and Hope arc mm. that played out in Salem was supposed to be another Beyond Salem mm. chapter. But then they're like... But, why bother? Yeah, it got switched to the the mothership. Mother well, then the mothership, right? Uh, well, that's then what, what they could do it. is they then they you know these holiday specials. That, that's perfect. That, mm-hmm. That's that's holiday specials is good. They could do they could do little little movies. You know, hour and a half specials where it's mm-hmm. just some sort of Kristen adventure, some sort of plot oh, with beginning, God. middle, and end that Kristen right. is involved. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mentioned her because she's super fun. Um, yes. I enjoy he's Kristen super very evil. Much. My gosh! And for some reason, Twitter hates this actor. I don't know. Why. It's not all of Twitter. It's <laughs> a very small segment, one guy kind of thing, like a vocal pocket. Yeah, yeah, vocal pocket. Um, but I, I really enjoy her. She's just the oh, I think of she's great. obvious email evil. Well, she's Stacey's a recast in the role, and Eileen was great in the role, but she went to Young and the Restless. You know, I mean, recasts happen. It's a soap opera. Yeah, happens all the time. And I think Stacey is fabulous. How this long person. has Stacey been playing her? A while now. Stacey's been. Look it up. She's curious. I know, right? Get on it. All right, researchers. <laughs> clickety clack, click, clickety clack. I do remember her on All My Children years ago. I don't. Mm-hmm. I might. I don't know. I think she does she seem David awfully Hayward's kind sister. of familiar. She does, she does Since 2018. 2018. All right. So good. Mm-hmm. That's a good solid spell. five years. Five that's, years. It's enough time to have to 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 make make Brady think that he's hallucinating somebody else and have a baby with him. Mm-hmm. And the and the five year jump. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, Jeannie! Why 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 does Peacock cost so much for you? Change that somehow. I don't, you're getting gouged in some way. It was her yearly because they did a, the first year they did a thing, $20 for the whole year special oh. when days first started. And um, then the annual is 60 I now for renewing for a I year. I understand really though, $60 a year to, I, uh, not, not to speak to anybody's financial situation and what they're willing to spend money on and not willing to spend money on. That's totally your decision with the circumstances you're facing and the things that you want to do with your money. But sixty bucks for a year of television, five bucks a month is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, <laughs> that's really, really, really inexpensive. And um, I can understand why it would go from twenty to sixty because if you had a million people spending twenty bucks, that's just not enough money to create. Right. I mean, it was the content. twenty was a special yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but so. that, that's just that, that's just my reaction to seeing that. Don't don't take that as anything but me talking on a podcast because we have to fill an hour with words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's something that I learned from my favorite radio show, my favorite morning show in the Bay Area, Sarah and Vinny, is they're like, we d- we tell the same stories again and again. We don't remember what we said five minutes ago because we have to talk for four hours nonstop. You have to understand yes. that the word stop, we don't get, we don't have a job anymore. We get replaced. So deal with it. It's like baseball commentary. Right. Where you're just like, good Lord, what are you talking about? <laughs> anything. They're like, anything. 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 And everything. anything. anything and everything. That's why I like hockey. Because hockey doesn't stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hockey just keeps going back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> Even when you stop, you're getting ready to go again. All right. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of time for all of oh, this. Oh, yeah. Your Baseballs, RBIs. there's all kinds oh, of downtime. Oh, I know baseball. All right. So much you downtime. You know what's super yes. boring? baseball on television oh Holy god i love baseball smokes my How favorite you isolate four and a half to five hours of a bunch of, of 18 people just standing there how do you do that <laughs> anyway yeah <laughs> uh stacy halliduck was also lois lane in what mm-hmm. 
I know some sort of Superman property, but which one? Was it a cartoon, Jacarius? You let me know. Uh, ask Angela. How dare you give me an instruction like that, Jeannie? <laughs> ask Angela. Hey, Angela. Um, mm. If you have a phone number to Peacock online, non at all to be be found. I have no idea what you're trying to say, Jeannie. I am so sorry. Uh, Does she want a customer service number? Oh, I don't know. For Peacock? Uh, maybe. 1-800-charge-me-less. Um, <laughs> 1-800-charge-me-less. Uh, right? Stacy was Lana Lang on Superboy. Okay. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at that. We just, we just got superhero connections abound. Apparently, apparently, she can leap tall buildings in a single bound. She's faster than a speeding bullet. She's stronger than a locomotive. All of those Superman things. You know what I'm going to start counting? And it's a good thing it's not going to be a drinking game because I'd be on the floor. I'm going to start counting how many kisses per episode. My gosh, days of our lives, they kiss each other constantly. Well, they, they don't care about COVID people. over there. They kiss, it's kiss, wonderful. They kiss a lot. How do you feel about Jafin Jafe and Rada? <laughs> How do you feel about Rafe and Jada? I like them. I like Rafe and Jada. Hmm. I enjoy them. I, mean, as a I was surprised that they went with Rafe being the pre the the commissioner again. I thought they were going to go with Jada. That was just a break. I'm neck, too. I'm it? very just disappointed that they. I was surprised that they didn't, especially since they made a reference of. It being important because she's a woman of color. And then they didn't mm -hmm. go with it. It was kind of yeah. weird to me. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about that either. I also don't know how to find this phone number for Jeannie. On that. I have that? it. Oh, you do? What was that, Ma? What'd you say? You didn't watch that episode? Which one? Oh, you know, I, I watched the one where they, yeah, that was like Thursday or Friday. So I watched those. <laughs> um, um, So, uh, yeah, yeah, because like... um. <laughs> Because Paulina <laughs> was like in there being like, you should be, you should be the commissioner again. And he's like, I don't know if I want to do that anymore, lady. Like, I mean, it was kind of stressful that I can't, I can't date this lady that I like, you know, her name is Jada. She's very pretty. I don't know if you met her. Um, <laughs> and it's like, of course I know who Jada is, you idiot. Um, <laughs> um, you know, and he's like, well, why don't you make her commissioner? And she's like, well, like, I mean, I guess, but you know, I mean you know they don't care if you guys are dating anymore so you can be the commissioner and then Rafe is like alright mm -hmm. <laughs> it was yeah, bad yeah. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why they teased that yeah it seemed like just, it was just a, just a, I don't know I just found it odd I don't know either I don't know because like really in the grand scheme of things now here's here's the thing here, here's the thing with the quick pace of days that might, that might not work for them is the fact that Ray, Ray was just kicked off the force like three weeks ago so there wasn't even a chance for this to like settle and be anything yeah. worth even ever doing, you know, like nothing came from this. He still gets to date her. He gets to go back to his old job. Sean gets mm -hmm. to go back to rehab and not have the stressful life or whatever it is that's going on. Like, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But maybe sometimes these things are just like real life, you know? You know, sometimes yeah. things happen and they get reversed. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're on a trajectory and a, tra and a tragedy happens. Sometimes you just start doing a podcast with your mom. And before you know it, you got three episodes going up and you're, and you're writing a bunch of articles for a website. You just don't know what direction life is going to be taking you. That's it's a crazy roller coaster. I got to cover <laughs> state of mind today, too. <laughs> My sympathy. He's got um, Thou, Thou Paglis or whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Oh, um, Tony. T Tony. He's Tony Demera on Tony Demera. Yeah, Lives. so old Victor, Victor, Victor WSB, Victor Cassadine. Um, mm -hmm. the one that Spencer liked when he was a kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one. That guy. <clears throat> yeah, he's on he's, Dave. He's a Days of Our Lives guy. But well, I don't think we've seen him on there since we've started watching. No, I have. No, probably not. They're recurring. Him and his wife oh. Anna. The characters, they're great. They're funny. So I have a question about Belle and Brady. Don't worry too much about Belle. Don't, don't, mm -hmm. don't stress about Belle at all. But they're okay. twins, right? They're not twins, no. No, 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 no. It's Sam they're brother and so Sammy and Eric are twins. Yes. Sammy there we and go, Eric Taiwan. are twins. We said Sammy's right. name. Are you ready? 
<laughs> Brady is John and Isabella's son. Belle yes. is John and Marlena's daughter. Oh, okay, okay. So they have the same father. Same father, different moms. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, as I watch it, I'm trying to figure out who is who still. It's a soap family but, tree. It's next to impossible, you know. I love I how they call Belle Tink. Well, that makes I sense. I love that that's her cute little nickname, Tink. Yeah. Oh, Tink, Tinkerbell. 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 Yeah, that is you know, cute. I love how they beast. still call her Tink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but she she's not happy. She's leaving. Yeah. yeah. Leaving the show? Yeah. Yeah. So, Angela, how long, much longer is she going to be on there? Um, She shot her last things in April. So, oh, so not, not, not that up, much longer. Coming up next couple months. Now, here's the thing. Here's yeah. what I found out. Here's what I read. Here's what I thought, or, or reaction. I don't know what's going on out there. Angela can confirm for us, but it seems as like they're not doing anything with Bell. She's just not going to be on anymore. Yeah, it seems like she just leaves the police station one day and then they'll reference her off screen. Really? Oh. They're not going to recast her or anything? I don't know. This but actor who plays Belle. Her final been... scenes. I mean, she showed a picture. You know, she showed a little video of her walking off set for the final time. And it was just really her walking out of the police station with a briefcase. She got Drew in the Drew in the elevator is what she got. <laughs> well, I guess this actor who's played Belle has, has played Belle for a long time. And so like recasting is going to is it would be like. Days doesn't care. No. <laughs> If they want to recast her, they will. Well, that's true. I mean, they, they are recasting. Oh, that's right. Teresa, right? Teresa. Teresa. Mid, that's why mid I know that name. Visit. They're recasting I wrote an article Teresa. about this it's lady bizarre. and I didn't remember the name. My God, I'm a bad podcaster. I wrote a whole article about this lady coming back to the show for two weeks. <laughs> yep. And then some, some, then some shenanigans are going to happen. I don't know what, what exactly, I don't know if there's going to be plot shenanigans or if they're just going to be like, burr, 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 oh, yeah. on a, on a the role there. of Teresa will now be played by. <laughs> so here's the thing, uh, <laughs> Teresa, this actor who plays Teresa, I don't remember her name anymore. Jen something. Jen Lily. Jen Lily. She's big time on Lifetime. Hallmark. Hallmark. Really? I'm pretty sure. I think it was Lifetime. Hallmark. I thought sure it was Hallmark. Lifetime. It might be Lifetime. Okay. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's Jack A. who's got that Lifetime stuff. Jack A. has the Lifetime three okay. movie series. Well, anyway, anyway, Jen Lilly's got something going on with a Lifetime slash Hallmark Great American Family. Oh, there, that's what it is. It was the all Great American Family because you made me change the name of it because I wrote All American Family. Yes. There we go. <laughs> So she, she's big uh, Great American Family contract person. And this is one of those Hallmarky lifetime things, but the conservative Christian one run by DJ Tanner. Um, yeah. From Full House. Yeah, she left. Dolomatic, she left Hallmark and signed a deal with Great American Channel, Great American Family. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, so she's got this contract. So that means that she just doesn't have the time to come and do days of her lives. But she found out that, um, you know, when John Aniston passed away and you can get this whole write up on soap opera news.net. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know how to find it, but you can find it, uh, <laughs> search it like on days of our lives category. Anyway, <laughs> so she reaches out to the show and says, Hey, John Aniston died. I would love to come back and play a little part in the memorial. I loved a John. Our characters had so-and-so to do with each other. It, it's perfect. I want to do it. Um, and eventually back and forth, yada, 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 they work it out, but they want to do more of the character than this actor has time for. Yeah. So they're excited. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll bring Teresa back on the canvas, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. So they bring a Teresa uh, back onto the canvas, but this original actor is only going to play Teresa during the time that she has available. And then after that, she's taken off and somebody else has taken over for her <laughs> to continue on with this plot. Mm-hmm. So she's basically just dropping the character off, being like, hey, I'm doing the memorial thing, but I got to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Enjoy what Teresa's doing, but it's not going to be me. So I guess if they're willing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they can just replace Belle whenever they want. Ma, you listen exactly. to that whole thing with such intent, attention <laughs> in your eyes, and I cannot appreciate you more. <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get it. You know, there's a lot to learn still. That's why we're in the lecture hall. There is a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, goodness. Apparently, yep. she also has four small kids. Yeah, that's something else that she talked about. She's like, I'm a mom. I'm busy. I've got this contract. I've got these things filming. But she was pretty much like, hey, listen, if I could have done this full time, I would have done this full time. I love doing that show. Uh, Ma, you will remember Jen Lilly as Temporary Maxie from General Hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She I came in I do and remember everybody her. hated her so much she decided to quit daytime. Yeah. Actually, I really liked her as Maxie, and they had her on there long enough that I was pretty much trying to, you know, pretty much accepting her as Maxie. I thought she did a great job as Maxie. I did. Oh, the fans were vicious to her. Yeah. Vicious. Fans well, were That's horrible. because fans just, you know, they hide behind that, that keyboard. Yeah. Just emotional. Like, you, you can tell just in the interview that she had with whatever outlet she was talking to that yep. that experience hurt her emotionally. Yeah, oh god yeah yeah like because just you know pe people people yeah. under consider the real life person that is the face of these characters that they love they really mm -hmm. and then and then folks wonder why these actors don't want to interact with us because we I have know. like turds to them that's why i feel like right. it's, it's my responsibility when i am talking to an actor or somebody that does creates for soap operas that i'm like we are a very positive show that loves what you do like i feel like i have to say that otherwise the assumption mm -hmm. is we're gonna we're gonna sit and like s-h-i-t on it the whole time right yeah because we don't we don't do that we do we don't we don't nope <laughs> uh yeah Jeannie, you're right some of those fans hate everyone when it suits them it's it's true yeah. it's true and there's also these uh these unwavering opinions that people have just decided on like they watched one episode or one story or saw one moment or one outfit and they're like i hate this person forever and you can't change my mind yes <laughs> yes know, we, we can take carly off a of, off a of 90 hours a month and give her four hours a month and people be like god dang i'm so tired of looking at this woman's face i know look at her you know I, i'm i'm sorry That's why i picked carly was for that because you wanted me to want give you the death glare okay Angela, I'm leave really my girl you, alone. Always. I, I'm sorry you didn't get to see um, Harris and Ava this week. It's okay because I got to see some spoiler pictures of them that were just posted up, and I'm a very, very happy it's Harris and Ava exciting. person. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can tell you what the, the scenes of Harris and Ava what they need to change because this this chick is getting on my nerves a little bit. That one that's in the background looking so sad and ratty with the little doll or the stuffy or whatever she has. Jeepus well, that. don't worry. They'll be they'll be getting out of Bayview soon. Oh, good. <laughs> Harris and Ava are going on the run. It's a, it's a big thing. It's a big thing that, that, that Carly and Jason fans are very excited for. Because apparently Carly and <laughs> We're Jason... We're getting our on-the-run story. ...haven't been Yay! on the run together. So <laughs> now they're going to be... Now, what are they running from? I guess the truth um, Well, Susan. EJ's trying to kill... EJ's trying to kill Ava. Oh, yeah. There we Ooh. go. See, EJ, EJ's about to cross the line, isn't he? Yeah, EJ's dipping into his doesn't Demera he, side. Doesn't he also pull a gun out on, on or is that somebody else? Xander pulls he a gun? He pulls, yes. In, in the spoiled episode, he, yeah, because he wants, he wants Xander to kill Ava. Mm. To make up for Xander helping Ava in the plot that ended up with EJ's mother being dead. Oh, so he's oh. offering him some kind of devious, right? Uh, but Xander is some redemption. redemption. But yeah. Xander's like, yeah, no, you're gonna do this and then pin it on me. So no, not happening. <laughs> and so EJ's getting somebody else to do it. Wow. And but what we also found out is that Susan's not dead, which I had a feeling about. Well, like you, Ava say. remembered that Susan wasn't actually dead. Like you always say. Nobody ain't really dead in Salem ever. No one's ever really dead in Salem. <sighs> Sister has forgotten that I podcast on Sundays at nine. That's what the ding a ling ling was. Oh, I didn't, oh. I didn't even hear a ding a ling a ling. But she, oh. she used to text by the end of every podcast. It's 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 what the people <laughs> are used to. <laughs> uh anyway. Uh that was it. That was the hour, right? Yep. <laughs> Well, did we cover everything, Matt? Everything on your notes? Uh, probably. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's stuff that happens. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you guys got to get ready for your next podcast. Yeah, you know, 45 minutes. 
I'm gonna so risk this voice. I'm gonna drink some more hot liquid. I gotta drink more clear liquid. That's right, you do. You need to just load up with all that hydration. Yes. Get you an under sink R water filter. <laughs> do you know anybody that she could talk to about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, we can get you all set up with a with a professional that will logistics it right to your house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, expresswater.com folks check it out all right uh in the meantime uh you know that, that, that that's it for class you know there's no bell or anything because this is college we learned all we could this week we covered the syllabus uh and we'll get back uh in, into this class again next week next saturday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 Sunday, Sunday not morning. Saturday, i don't know what days of the week we are leave me alone you it's a day saturday. that starts with us it's sunday y'all it's, sunday. it's this day this day that we're on right now <laughs> Uh, Tune in us. next week on Saturday and there won't be nobody Well, you there. can watch the library of all of this stuff that's available, you know. You can you can Indeed. do that mm -hmm. any time of the week that you want. And, of course, if you want to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel, you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it right now. Do so. And then there's like a bell icon somewhere as well that you can click. And that will give you notifications when we put up the waiting room, when we upload a new video when we put up a post an announcement maybe even a maybe. short all kinds of different little things that you can come to the uh come to the channel to explore um super chat options are totally on and available if you're watching this on the rebroadcast you can find a little dollar sign dollar bill thing down at the bottom give that a click and if you feel like we're worth a couple of bucks you can send that over join us at 11 where we will tell you what we're going to spend that money on um do your homework watch days of our lives <laughs> watch follow days us. of our lives and be ready to cover it next week you know, follow, follow us on there might be a quiz there might you be. deal with the haters on twitter you just ignore them ignore 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 just mute ignore. is your friend <laughs> it's, it's challenging because i want to fight them all chicarius i do <laughs> Yes, there's not enough hours in the day. There really isn't. You'd be arguing all day long unless you figured out how to just mm -hmm. roll your eyes and go, wow, people just live in a world that I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, so you can follow us on, on Twitter slash X at 10th Floor GH. You can follow us on Instagram, 10th Floor GH. Um, I, yeah, shoot. Um, oh, yeah. Super Soap opera news dot net. Uh, thing. Soap opera news dot net. You know, you can get all, all, all of your All your soap details. opera news and info. You know, recaps, spoilers. Uh, join us at entertainmentnews.com starting as early as tomorrow for some really cool, fun soap content as well. Different than what you're yep. being offered on soapoppernews.net. So between the two, ultra info. We got you, man. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Uh, you know, I can ramble on forever about all the fun ways that you can inter inter interact with the show and all of our friends and affiliates. Uh, but that's it. I've been Matt. That's Kat. That's Angela. <laughs> You can say your names too if you want. <laughs>